What's going on everyone? Happy Cyber Monday. Today we are going to go through the current state of the decentralized science crypto landscape. If you are into DeSci, you're in the right place my friend. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notification bell because we go live Monday through Friday to talk about crypto and trade the crypto markets. Grab some of our liquidity. So let's get right into things and address the elephant in the room. DeSci is pumping, guys. DeSci has been going wild. This decentralized science watch list on coin market cap, I will put a link in the description of this video if you want to go check it out. It's Joshua Jake, my friend and mentor, put this list together, and he did a banger job on it. He found a lot of decentralized science projects, and he's constantly adding to it, so it's definitely worth looking at. But let's go ahead and look at some of these coins. The first one up is AGIX, or Singularity Net. Now, this is not specific to just DeSci. This is all AI and longevity on the blockchain. This project has been doing wonders during the bear market. This is a year chart. A year ago, it was just four cents. Now it's sitting at about 30 cents. If you look, we're still down from its launch. It launched at a pretty high valuation to say the least, but I still think there's a possibility that we cover and go way past that $1.49 mark. It's currently sitting at a $379 million market cap with about 62% of the coins in circulation, which is good. I want to see those projects above the halfway mark for coins in circulation. If you go look at the monthly, it's performing very well, 43% up. It's not keeping up with some of the other decentralized science plays, but that's because it's a much larger market cap guys you got to remember that the larger the market cap is the more money it's going to take to move that market cap so up 43 percent is not something to laugh at it's doing very well this entire year has been astonishing for agix as that ai narrative continues to roll out if we go into the next coin here we have ocean protocol not performing as well as singularity net but that's because it doesn't necessarily have that ai theme as deeply rooted in its blockchain narrative it's up 18 percent on the month although i think that might be a little bit skewed because it just switched back to 25 percent it's doing pretty good up on the year from 13 cents to 43 cents that is several hundred percent up and since its launch back in June of 2019, or a little bit earlier, I guess, it's still up overall. So they did a good job at launching it. Its current market cap, $244 million, with 40% of its supply in circulation. All of decentralized science right now is getting a little bit of money backing it, and a lot of the coins are starting to move. Most decentralized science projects that you look at have a much better um, chart structure than some of the other projects that are in the crypto landscape. Ocean Protocol is no exception here. If you look, it peaked out at a dollar eighty ish, a dollar eighty up here, and it fell down to twenty three cents, which is a massive correction, massive crash. That's not just a correction; that's a crash. I just did the math really quick. It went down ninety three percent from its peak to trough, which is a massive crash, but. It has rebounded nicely and is holding structure a lot better than some of the other altcoins out there. If we go on to the next one, we have VXV or Vector Space Biosciences. I know a lot of people got burnt on this because it was at one point trading all the way up at $20 per coin. A lot of hype behind it because this is an AI project as well. And then it subsequently crashed very, very badly after the fact. What is that's like 99% crash. So Massive crash. It's starting to rebound a little bit. It just got sucked into an overwhelming amount of hype during the last cycle. Hopefully, we'll see if it can do that again. I ultimately don't think that getting to a $300 million market cap is that difficult for a project like VXV. They're making a lot of moves in and out of the decentralized science landscape. You can even come look at the price here over the last year. It's up from a quarter to 53 cents, so it's up about 100%. On the month it's been running, pretty much all of those gains came in the last month or so. VXV 
I know people have a bad stigma towards it, but it is a very good project. As you can see, about 49 million out of the 50 million coins are already in circulation. So these tokenomics are very good. Something that a lot of people look at and kind of get jaded by is the fact that the company who put out VXV, VXV being the utility token, also has two other coins that they've launched. So you have to understand that the, the company behind this is a business. They have a real solid fundamental business behind it. They're just using VXV as a utility token. They also have Espio, and then I forget the other you, the other coin's name right now. And I'm sorry if you can hear my cats running around. They're having a good time in the background of this video. Next up, we have VitaDAO, one of my personal favorites, and not just because I made a good amount of money on it, but because they're actually doing things. They're actually out here funding quite a bit of research, and the community sees that. This year, it's up from 80 cents to $2.35. This massive pullback that it had back here was one individual selling about a million dollars worth. He was just taking some profits. It's not that he didn't believe in it anymore. He just wanted some of his money back, and you could see that if you're involved in some of these communities. Speaking of community, Bird has a message for you. He says that you should join our Discord, Those Investors Discord. If you like investing and making money, we got a place for you. We got real estate, we got crypto, we got stocks. Sometimes we talk about bonds and other things, and I hold weekly classrooms in there dissecting different cryptocurrencies and different crypto projects that I'm interested in holding. I document the entire portfolio challenge there as well, but that's enough of that. Let's continue on with this market update. In the last month alone, VitaDAO is up from $2 to $2.35, so about an 18% pump. That's not something that really is outstanding, but if you were able to pick up a bag during this massive crash that I talked about a moment ago, you'd be up a lot because this got down to about 80 cents, give or take, so you gotta be timing these markets just a little bit. DCA is nice and all, but you gotta be paying attention and have your certain values set for where you want it to purchase. Rejuve, RJV, is doing amazing this month, up 59% on the year. It is still down. It launched back in April, and the coin pumped initially, but then has been bleeding ever since. So a lot of these coins though, you have to understand they are extremely small market caps and have yet to really get a foothold, a stronghold on the entire crypto market. These are very difficult models for people to understand and wrap their heads around, which is why I made this channel. Hopefully I can do a good job clarifying a lot of this. Rejuve AI only has 20% of the coins in circulation, which is not that great. So I would expect some level of dilution going to, into the next bull market. But again, sitting at a $5 million market cap, if adoption grows faster than the dilution, then you don't have to worry about it all that much. We have a research coin, which is one that I called out on X multiple times in my Discord a couple times. It's going absolutely bonkers this month, up a thousand percent. It went from one and a half cents all the way up to a peak of about 20 cents, 21 cents. So this coin has been on an absolute killing rager pump. This coin has been absolutely pumping recently, and I believe it has to do with the fact that Brian Armstrong, the founder of Coinbase, put it into his bio. He's part of Research Hub, the organization behind this coin, and it, he put it into his bio, people saw it, and the coin absolutely skyrocketed. So shout out to anyone who got into this coin early. You're up a lot of money right now. Genomes DAO. I really am a fan of the community here with Genomes DAO. Um, I've communicated a lot with them on Twitter. I've made a few videos about them here. I like everything that they're doing. I'm very bullish on Genomes DAO and Gene the token. This month it's up 250%. So it's making people a lot of money. On the year, it's up about 1,000%. And it literally just got launched this year. So again, it checks off those boxes for being new coins. I forgot to say the total supply of research coin. Research coin's only sitting at 7.6% fully diluted, so it's really got a lot of dilution coming over the next few years, but that's just the thing. It's got many years before it will be fully diluted. A lot of these coins here are being used by the Research Hub platform to incentivize that peer review research process. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out one of the videos that I made on it. A $13 million market cap, still very, 
very tiny in the grand scheme of things. On Genomes Dow, it's sitting at a $2 million market cap, which is wild to think that just back in August, you could have bought this at about a quarter of a million dollar market cap. That's crazy. 13% of the supply in circulation. So again, another one of those coins that's going to experience a lot of dilution in the coming years. Keep that in mind as you're doing your analysis on whether or not you should be buying any of these coins. Speaking of microscopic coins with not a lot of them in circulation. We have Data Lake. Data Lake is up 200% on the month. They currently have a, a program where you can stake your Data Lake. I believe it expires sometime in March of 2024. The yield on that is about 400% right now, which is a lot of yield to be coming from something like this. They're generating that yield from diluting the token holders. So if you own Lake and you're not staking, you're intentionally missing out on free coins. You're letting yourself get diluted for literally no reason. If you're holding Lake right now, you should be staking it. If you're not staking it and you wanna take some profits, go ahead because usually when Lake pumps like this, it doesn't hold it for that long. It's at a $1 million market cap, which is insane it's just below a million dollar market cap i believe i called it out in the discord when it was at like 150,000. so we're doing pretty well we're, we're definitely eaten with some lake tokens it's got four percent of the supply in circulation so again really really poor when it comes to that metric because it's got such a small market cap one million dollars of a circulating market cap it only takes something like $19,000 of buying orders to send the price up 32% in a day. So there's not a lot of liquidity here. Be very careful, but that's the definition of getting a pump in. <laughs> Next up, we have XRP Healthcare, XRPH. Again, shout out to Josh for putting together this list. I didn't even know that they had uh, DSI play on the XRPL. So shout out, Josh. Currently sitting at a $658,000 market cap with 35% of the coins in circulation. It's not really doing too much this month. Not really doing too much, but going down for the entire year. And it launched back in February. So very new and literally just been bleeding the entire time that's been in existence. It looks like it's starting to slow down with those bleeds. So I would pay attention to see if we find some sort of a solid foundation here at the 20 cent or excuse me, the two cent mark. And we'll see if they're able to actually progress forward. Now the next coin on this list and the final coin for our DSI market recap is AI Metis, Metis, new. Aim X. Unfortunately, this is the only coin that has not been putting in any work over this last month, aside from XRP H. This is actually down 18% on the month, and over the last year, down 50% all time. It launched back in March, so literally just this year. It's been going down. It looks like it's finding a base here, but I think the problem with AIM is that it is a metaverse play on the healthcare system. They're trying to bring people into the metaverse for some of their healthcare checkups, which I think is a cool idea in theory. The market right now just realizes that we are literally a decade out from any real metaverse utility before people actually see any level of adoption in the metaverse. And I think the market kind of understands that. Not to say this won't pump, as everything pumps in the crypto euphoria stage of the market, which hopefully is coming in 2024, 2025, if the four-year cycle is to play out once more. All of these cryptocurrencies have minuscule market caps, $1.8 million circulating market cap with 55% of the total supply in circulation. These projects, even if they were to 10x or 100x from here and had a $188 million market cap, that is still a very small cryptocurrency. So bear that in mind, XRP H. If it were to 100x, it'd be a $65 million market cap. Very small. Data Lake, currently speaking, if it were to 100x, it would be approaching a $100 million market cap. When we first got into it, it was way smaller than that. It looked like it could 1,000x and still barely be there. Genomes Dow, it would be a $200 million market cap if it 100x from here, meaning it was a $2 coin. It's at two cents right now. Research Coin, it's at $13 million market cap. If it 100x, we'd be at a $1.3 billion market cap, which now you're starting to get into some of those larger caps 
cap cryptocurrencies. Depends on if you have faith in Brian Armstrong and the team that he put together over at Research Hub. And Patrick Joyce, I believe his name is. I only know that because I'm also named Patrick. Rejuve AI, a $5 million market cap. 100X again would be a $550 million market cap. You get the point here. Most of these are minuscule. A VitaDAO, $21 million market cap. If it were to 100X, you get a $2.1 billion market cap, which is not that outlandish. VXV would be a $2.6 billion market cap. Ocean Protocol, that's where it gets pretty outlandish here because you'd be at a, well, a $25 billion market cap and then Singularity Net would be a $38 billion market cap. Those are a little bit more difficult to reach, that 100X, but you have to look at the current market caps for a lot of the larger coins out here and understand that it's still not out of the realm of possibility if DeSci becomes a major narrative. Many of these coins that are on this list will put in a 10X, a 20X, a 50X maybe even for some of these coins bringing like most of the crypto market cap up well above 10 trillion dollars in my opinion so if dsi is able to capture even just one percent of that market cap of a 10 trillion dollar total crypto market cap dsi got one percent of that you'd be looking at 100 billion dollars to be spread out amongst all of these different projects if it gets there you better bet that i'm going to be taking my profits Time's your most valuable asset, make no mistake about it. Hopefully this was a worthwhile video for you. If it was, let me know. Hit that like button and I'll see you in the next video.